Hey everybody, Mark Spectre Comics, and I'm back. This time, I did the biggest trade I've ever did in my life. I ended up trading these two books and ended up getting a really big Silver Age Spider-Man key. If you're interested in seeing what's in this package, stay tuned for that intro. All right, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. Like I said, ended up doing the biggest trade I've ever done in my life. Like I said, this year is going to be the year of the trade for me. Going to be working up on just trying to get some really cool books that I previously thought I wouldn't be able to get to before. If you've seen my first book, my first series that I've done, I ended up um, trading a Fantastic Four. Issue number, I think, 29 for a Golden Age EC book. If not, I'll uh, add the, uh, the link so you can see that. This time, I've upped it up several levels. So, um, same like last time. Ended up uh, reaching out to uh, someone on Facebook. They often, um, like I said, part of many, many Facebook groups. And from time to time, they do, you know, post up some grails, you know, and so forth. So, um Bunch of people listed up, you know, all sorts of books, modern books, DC, Marvel, Golden Age, Silver Age keys, you name it. So, uh, talked to a gentleman, he was like, oh, I'm looking for some EC keys or EC, you know, pre-code, uh, sci-fi, horror, whatever. So I was like, all right, cool. And I have some, uh, you know, Silver Age books to trade. It's great. So, um, I reached out to him. I was like, what are you looking for? I was like, I got some EC, uh, especially sci-fi. And I was like, yeah, I'm working on the uh, weird fantasy, you know, run. So I was like, okay. I showed him a couple of my books. I had this book, Weird Fantasy 22, um, Weird Science Fantasy 29. We all know this book. Well, you know, I would imagine if you, if you know Golden Age, you know this book. This is the classic Frank Frazetta cover. In my opinion, probably in the top two, if not the best Frank Fazetta cover of all time. And then um, also had this book as well, Weird Fantasy 12, which is one of my favorite covers in the run. So uh, he was like, I'm interested in all three. Um, I had uh, a few others that I showed him, but he wasn't interested in those. So, and he was like, well, I got a bunch of these uh, Silver Age books. You know, I've been collecting for, I don't know, 40 or so years. And I'm looking to move on and get more into the Golden Age because they're, you know, tougher to find. Uh, I've been reading some of the bound books and I'm really interested in just trying to, you know, start that run. So I was like, great, let's uh, see if we can work on a deal. Putting out the uh, the whiskey for this one. This is a big boy book. So uh, spent a couple of weeks. There was no rush. You know, when you're doing a big tray like that, you can't, you, you can't, you know, rush into it. You have to look obviously for the red flags like I talked about extensively in the first video. Everything seemed to pan out pretty pretty well. Uh, he wasn't pushy. He wasn't in a rush to make a trade. So, you know, we wanted to make sure everything was was pretty copacetic. So um, I even went out on the limb. It's like, uh, have you ship out the books first? So I received the package uh, yesterday. I was away a few days for work, as I usually am. And the package came in. I picked it up and uh, I inspected it, you know, before I... Uh, actually ship him out the books, right? Because we want to make sure the book comes in great shape. You know, here it is. This came all the way from Belgium. So uh, there's obviously when you ship something overseas, it's customs, you got you to gotta declare stuff. So obviously he, I'm not going to show any of the information. You know, it's all, you know, right there. You got to declare stuff. Uh, obviously, sometimes depending on the country, you got to send it to, you got to pay duties. Like, like I would be potentially liable to pay duties. That's just how it is, depending on the country. So uh, I don't know if, if uh, when I send it over to Belgium, if he's gonna be uh, responsible for duties. Hopefully not. If, if, if he is, then I'll, I'll cover it, of course. I, I, we talked about like we would cover shipping each, each way so we wouldn't have to take care of that. And then uh, just like, just keep an open line of communication, especially when you're dealing with, you know, books over a hundred dollars, you know. And in this case, this was well over 100. So I'm going to open up the package. Uh, really well packaged. 
you know, one book, one book. So uh want to be very careful because uh, it's very easy to <laughs> use a long uh, a switch of blade and uh, accidentally cut the book. I've done that before in the past. A little rookie mistake, but you learn. So uh, let me open this up. There we go. As you can see, really good shape. Um, here we go. All right. I don't want to draw this out too long. So uh, here's the book. I'm going to pull it out of the uh, the sleeve and then we'll uh, inspect it really quick. So this is the part where I don't necessarily care as much as in the video as more so me accidentally doing something to the book. So. If I'm uh, not looking at the video, it's because I'm trying to be very careful. Okay, we slide this out. And then from here, I'm looking at the book just to make sure that it matched up to the photos that he sent me. And he sent me several before we even talked about the books that I had. And everything looks pretty good. And I want to say, you know, first and foremost, uh, there's been a bunch of videos on CGC, you know, people handling the grading, the books, you should say that, uh, you should be using gloves to handle books and stuff like that. That's not the case. You don't, you, you want to be able to use bare hands on books. Obviously there's oils in your hands before you actually touch them. So wash your hands, you know, let's be smart here. I washed my hands thoroughly, cleaned them off. Uh, obviously, sometimes you will be a little nervous, especially dealing with a bigger book, but um, you want to use your fingers because you want to feel for that dex, you know, the, the texture of the book and make sure that there's, you're not feeling for like any potential restoration. He said the book was not restored. He owned it from when he was a kid. So he's been a long time collector. Like I said, I just want to open up the book real quick and uh, <clears throat> excuse me make sure everything looks okay and then uh so far at quick glance everything looks fine so i think i feel pretty pretty good with that i don't see no interior tape he mentioned there was no no tape nothing on here so uh let's look at the book what's the book in question boom amazing spider-man issue number 14. This is the uh, first appearance of this guy right here, Green Goblin. It's also, I believe, the first battle between um, Hulk and Spider-Man. This is fantastic. I didn't think I'd ever own this book because this is a very expensive book. And maybe two, three years ago, I didn't think I was ever going to own this book because this book had been going up quite a bit. It's an early Spider-Man key very very important spider-man villain and i'm not necessarily the biggest spider-man fan but i'm a big villains fan if you you know watch my channel for a while you know i like collecting villains especially first appearances on the cover so this is fantastic i can't wait to open it up further and look at it smell it read it feel the book and uh, just get the uh, full-on enjoyment of owning such a big key he's gonna obviously enjoy the books that is going his way he's gonna get Three Golden Age pre-code sci-fi books, uh, fantastic books in my opinion, and uh, hope he you know continues to uh, enjoy and collecting that genre. So that's it, my big time you know you know Grail book uh, for many. Um, I'm hoping to continue to collect more big books like this because this is going to be the year of the trade. So now I challenge you. Uh, have you done any big trades of this you know caliber? Have you you know? going out there and trading with more people. I challenge you guys to go out there and, and make a big trade with a stranger on the internet like I did again. So uh, until next time, Mark Expect the Comics. If you enjoyed this, hit the like, subscribe, comment down below. Out.